Hello friends. In this video, we will be demonstrating our arthroscopic surgical technique of PCL avulsion fixation using a double fiber wire pull through technique. Here we see that this is a young patient who suffered a road traffic accident with a dashboard injury with a PCL avulsion fragment which is located on the posterior side of the knee. The MRI findings are confirmatory and there is a PCL avulsion fragment that is displaced significantly and which is leading to instability and posterior laxity in the patient. The patient has a positive rod signs and help has mild contusions on the anterior part of tibia. Here we can see that the ACL is pseudo lax that means that ACL is not torn but because the PCL is torn there is a laxity in the ACL. Here we are making another window which is on the top of the PCL ligament. The purpose of this technique and is to approach PCL superiorly as well as inferiorly right through the posterior medial compartment and then work through the posterior medial compartment. It is imperative to release the posterior intermuscular septum thoroughly. This not only facilitates the exposure and the surgical technique but it also makes the surgery safer because it leads to posterior shifting of the important neurovascular one bundle on the posterior aspect which is shown in the number of series. So as we release the posterior intermuscular septum the popliteal vessels fall back and we have a more safer field of area where we can work and we can do dissections. Now we will advance our scope in the posterior medial compartment we can do it from the top of the PCL as well as the bottom of the PCL. From there we will make two portals. The first portal is a posterior medial superior. So it's a superior posterior medial portal and this will be utilized as a post viewing portal. Now I will like to place two cannulas of seven millimeter diameter transparent cannulas on the posterior medial aspect and rest of the surgery will be done under vision from the posterior aspect of the knee. The advantage of this surgery is you can have a very nice view of all your important structures and you have a very safe approach to the posterior dangerous area of the knee. Now here we are using a spinal needle to direct our low posterior medial portal and again this portal is made by the same technique utilizing a switching stick and over that switching stick we will insert a 7 mm plastic cannula and this will complete our post portal placement on the posterior medial compartment. Now usually these two cannulas the high posterior medial and low posterior medial cannulas are sufficient to do whole of the surgical procedure. Occasionally we also make a posterior lateral uh, portal with a posterior lateral cannula but it is not utilized in all the cases. Now that at this point of time we will pass a two number UHMWPE fiber wire from the top of the PCL and then the other end is passed or routed by a knot pusher from the inferior part of the PCL and it is also taken back from the low posterior medial portal and this thread usually we will capture the PCL. Now we will insert our camera into the high posterior medial portal and now we can see the knee from the back and here we can see that this is the PCL which is lax and this is a very good time to do a 
good dissection between the PCL and the capsule to actually expose the PCL avulsion fragment. The PCL avulsion fragment needs to be dissected very elegantly starting from the medial and going up to the lateral side. We can also release a part of the posterior intermuscular septum for a complete release. Then we will focus our attention to the dissection more inferiorly and we should keep the shaver blade towards the bone and work on the bony side to prevent any kind of a vascular mishap. Here we can evaluate or appreciate the nice bony fragment of the PCL avulsion and we will dissect it from the medial to the lateral aspect thoroughly. Here we can appreciate it very nicely and this is actually the bed. This is the bed from which the PCL avulsion has been taken place and we need to prepare this bony bread. We can use small curettes, we can use shaver blades to remove the clot from this area. We clean this area because we want the PCL avulsion fragment to sit back to its original place right there. So that is very important. You need the PCL fragment to sit back on its own place. Here we can nicely see the prepared bed of the avulsion. So once we have prepared the bed, we need to tie the knot and this is the first suture. We usually use two different color sutures in this technique. The upper suture is usually the blue colored sutures and usually it is tied thoroughly. And we usually take a sliding knot here and we usually pass multiple half hitches after that first knot. So the first knot is passed by the standard technique and then you can use multiple half stitches over that so that will complete your repair that will hold the PCL fragment nicely. Now we have seen in our earlier cases that there are loosening because of a single wire loop so we now are using two wire loops so at this point of time we will insert the second wire loop which is black in color and again this is passed one from the top of the PCL that is the superior aspect of the PCL. The other loop is passed through the knot pusher on the inferior aspect of the PCL and it is again taken from the low posterior medial portal. We will tie and this is grasped from the suture retriever from the low posterior medial portal and then we will tie it nicely. It is imperative to prevent the entanglement of the blue and the black sutures and this again is tied sequentially one by one. So the blue sutures and the black sutures are tied separately and this leads to a very strong uh, uh, hold which is at the junction of the PCL and the bony fragment interface. Now here we will be using the PCL TBL jig to make our medial pull through drill. So this we will drill two drill holes. The first the medial drill hole will be coming right on the inferior medial aspect of the avulsion. This drill should come at the champagne neck. So this is actually the a natural slope of the tibia and once this drill is passed inferiorly we can use this is the drill which is coming from the inferior inferior medial part of the actual avulsion fragment we will over drill it with a 4.5 millimeter cannulated drill bit and once this is drilled nicely we can use our suture retriever to retrieve two sutures through the same limb. So we will drill it nicely. This has to be done under vision and this is the suture retriever and this point we will use our knot pushers to push the fiber wires into the suture retriever. So we will be passing one blue and one black suture retriever. Uh, wires through the suture retriever and when we will pull it on the anterior aspect of the tibia. So this is the medial tunnel.
Now we will focus our attention on making the lateral tunnel. The lateral tunnel is made through the lateral uh, anterior medial portal and this is the jig is inserted from the superior part of the PCL and again we aim or target on the inferior lateral border of the PCL avulsion fragment and this is a very very risky area because this is very close to the popliteal fragment and you can see the popliteal muscle also there and right be, uh, posterior to this fat will lie the popliteal vessel so you should be very careful drilling in this area so once you can uh, you hit the jig you will pass your curate on the posterior aspect you can see the drill and will you will pass the curate on the you will put the curate on the posterior part of the drill and you can just pass the drill over that fragment and once you pass the drill over that you can again use your suture retriever to retrieve the other two suture limbs that is the blue and the black suture limbs so we will use our knot pusher to feed the blue and the black sutures sequentially into the suture retriever and once we have passed both the suture limbs into the suture retriever we will just pull it from the lateral tunnel so there are two tunnels in this technique the advantage is it is an implantless technique so there is no screw no buttons nothing is used we are just using the fiber wire sutures to actually uh, repair this construct nicely so this is UHMWPE high density fibers which are very strong and these sutures now we will just pull the medial suture and pass them over the bone fragment on the medial aspect and then we will anteriorly tighten both the suture limbs from the medial and the lateral tunnel and this will lead to a very solid fixation of the PCL fragment posteriorly and these two sutures the blue and black are tied separately on the anterior aspect and you can see that the pseudo laxity in the ACL is gone and the ACL has become very stout and rigid. If you have any more doubts pertaining to this talk we will be very happy to answer them in the comment box. Thanks a lot.